Navigating the aisles of our local supermarkets, we are often tempted with labels advertising health benefits, sugar-free, zero calories. Many items, including Diet Coke and various sugar-free snacks, share a common and somewhat mysterious ingredient, aspartame. This artificial sweetener lures us with the promise of guilt-free pleasure. But this raises a real question. Is aspartame actually harmless? What is aspartame? Aspartame is a popular artificial sweetener found in many diet sodas. It's about 200 times sweeter than sugar and commonly used as a sugar substitute to reduce calorie intake. Manufacturers often advertise aspartame as a perfect substitute for sugar, promising it delivers all the sweetness without the negative health consequences commonly associated with sugar consumption. This promise sounds almost too good to be true, which is precisely why we've delved into this topic. What is its real impact on our health? This is the question that we will try to answer in this video, examining the most recent research on aspartame, including its potential connections to cancer, thyroid issues, obesity, and even autism. So keep watching to find out more. The Mount Sinai Hospital Study and Thyroid Concerns. Concerns around aspartame are not new. Several studies have raised concerns about its safety, contributing to widespread skepticism. Some of the negative symptoms associated with aspartame include reports of headaches, dizziness, and other adverse effects. A particularly significant concern arises from a recent study by Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. This study involved 100 individuals diagnosed with hypothyroidism, a condition characterized by an underactive thyroid gland. The findings highlighted a noticeable correlation between the consumption of artificial sweeteners, including aspartame, and elevated levels of thyroid stimulating hormone, which is a critical marker for hypothyroidism. Intriguingly, the rate of artificial sweetener consumption among those with hypothyroidism was found to be four times higher than in individuals without the condition. Fascinatingly, two thirds of participants who discontinued artificial sweeteners experienced a complete reversal of their thyroid issues suggesting a potential link between these sweeteners and thyroid health. While these findings have yet to be replicated in human studies, related research in rats indicates altered thyroid activity due to various sugar substitutes, including aspartame, hinting at possible effects on human thyroid function. But the potential health impacts of aspartame extend beyond the thyroid. Aspartame and cancer risks. Another reason for concern regarding aspartame is its possible connection to cancer risks. While entities like the American Cancer Society and National Cancer Institute have not issued definitive statements against aspartame, the World Health Organization categorizes it as a potential carcinogen, sparking debate and inquiry. Many worrisome results stem from animal studies, suggesting a possible link between aspartame and cancer. However, many debate that these outcomes in rodents may not directly correlate to humans. On the other hand, a 2022 study involving over 100,000 French adults over seven years linked aspartame, among other artificial sweeteners, to increase risk of breast cancer and obesity-related cancers, questioning its long-term safety. Beyond cancer, aspartame's role in weight management is another area under scrutiny. Aspartame and obesity. The link between aspartame and obesity is complex and widely debated. Although aspartame is low in calories and often used for weight control, research indicates it may not be as effective for weight loss as once thought. For example, a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that people who regularly consumed aspartame sweetened beverages did not lose weight but instead experienced a higher BMI over time compared to those who did not. One reason for this is aspartame's potential to confuse the body's calorie management system. The sweetness without the calories can lead to increased hunger, and as a result, a higher intake of calories later. Additionally, aspartame might alter the gut's microbiome, impacting metabolism and leading to weight gain. Concerns also extend to aspartame's role in metabolic syndrome, a collection of health issues that raise the risk of heart disease and diabetes both linked to obesity. This is particularly troubling for children and teens who consume a lot of diet sodas and sweetened drinks, suggesting long-term health implications. 
While many choose aspartame for its low calorie appeal, its potential negative effects, such as increased hunger and disrupted metabolism, cast doubt on its calorie control benefits. Health experts recommend using caution with aspartame, particularly for those with metabolic concerns, and suggest safer, low calorie alternatives. However, the concerns surrounding aspartame consumption extend beyond immediate health effects, potentially affecting future generations. Possible connection between aspartame and autism spectrum disorders. When it comes to the health of our children, it's better to be safe than sorry. The growing concern about the link between aspartame and autism spectrum disorders, ASD, has caught the attention of many, from worried parents to healthcare experts. More and more, scientific studies are suggesting that we should think twice about using aspartame, especially for pregnant women and young kids. Recent studies on animals show that aspartame could harm brain development and behavior in ways that resemble ASD. These studies tell us that aspartame might overwork and harm brain cells, leading to inflammation and long-term damage. This is especially worrying during pregnancy and early childhood when the brain is just starting to grow and form. Aspartame breaks down into substances, including phenylalanine, that could disrupt the brain's chemical messengers. This imbalance could lead to problems that are similar to those seen in autism, raising red flags about aspartame's safety for developing brains. Although the conversation about aspartame's safety is ongoing, and it's important for those concerned about ASD to reconsider how we use aspartame in our diets. By choosing more natural, unprocessed foods, we can take steps to protect our children's health as we learn more. Staying informed and flexible will help us care for the most vulnerable among us. Some of the findings we've discussed, particularly concerning the potential health risks associated with aspartame, are indeed alarming. The aspartame debate is nuanced. Comprehensive human studies are necessary to fully comprehend its effects. Until then, moderate consumption and staying informed of new research is a smart approach. With this information, we aim to empower you, our viewers, to make informed decisions about your consumption of aspartame. While the debate on aspartame safety continues, one thing remains clear. Moderation is crucial. We recommend adhering to the daily recommended amounts of aspartame if you choose to consume it at all. This approach minimizes potential risks while allowing for personal choice and flexibility in your diet. Your health and well-being are paramount. We encourage you to share your experiences and thoughts regarding aspartame consumption. Have you noticed any health changes since using products containing aspartame? Let's discuss in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Remember, making informed choices and practicing moderation are essential steps towards a healthier lifestyle. Stay tuned for more engaging and informative health discussions.